Hey guys, Circumspect here, and today I'm going to show you guys an item called the router from Factorization. Uh, I'm going to show you what it does and how to make it, and a few suggestions about how to use it. So first of all, uh, this is the router block right here. It doesn't need any power, and what it does is it services every machine in contact, uh, every machine and entity in contact in the contact system. So as long as they're linked together, it will service them. And what it can do is it can insert or extract items. Um, you can specify the items. You can even specify the machines with upgrades and such. It goes in turns, and what I mean by that is it will start with this first one. It'll go to the next one. It'll go to the next one, and it will distribute the items evenly unless you place a router, uh, excuse me, a bandwidth upgrade inside the router and then it will work in stacks instead of single items. So for example with this barrel system I could come over here and take out a piece of brass, place it in to the insert and voila, it goes back to the brass. So let me show you guys how to make this real quick. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a craft packet and um, this is because you need diamond shards and so you take this is the uh, recipe for the craft packet right here some obsidian a little TNT and a diamond block and you're gonna take this craft packet right here and place it in this thing the craft packet stamper and so we'll take this right here place it in here and it gives us some diamond shards Now we'll take those diamond shards and make a wrath igniter with them. Take some nether brick and a diamond shard, and you'll take that. Next thing you need to do is make some dark iron. So what you'll do is you'll take this wrath igniter, make yourself a block of iron, and place it down, and then light it up. And be careful when you do this because it will light up everything around it um, if it's flammable so uh, just be really careful with that after a short amount of time you will see that it turns into this block right here uh, as you see right there you'll just take it and mine it up you can take that block and put it in a crafting slot which will give you dark dark iron ingots you'll take those ingots and make the router with them You're also going to need two ender pearls, one of them which you will make a eye of ender with some blaze powder combined with it, and an egg, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So that's your router right there. You just take it and place it next to your system. And now I'll show you a couple of suggestions about how it may be possible to use it. The first one is this barrel method right here. Um, you can take these barrels, and um, this is how you make them right here. You just take some oak slabs and some uh, logs, and you get barrels. Really handy. They hold um, 64 stacks of 64 of any item that stacks in that manner. So you can take them, place them, as long as they're in contact. And what you can do is because the router, right now it's set to insert into anywhere, and um, what it will do is it will visit each one of these barrels and try to put an item in it. So, for example, if you had a stack of 64 iron and all these barrels were completely empty, you just placed them down, it would place one iron there, one iron there, one iron there, so on and so forth. So the best thing to do is go ahead and manually place one of whatever item in each barrel. And then for your empty barrels, maybe you want to expand later on, or maybe you don't have one of every item, you can just place another barrel in it to keep it from filling that up. So these barrels are just placeholders right here. And then how that works is, like as you saw a minute ago, because these barrels only hold one type of item, you can take that item and... Uh, place it in and it will go back to its proper position. 
This also works for extracting. So if you place an item filter upgrade in it, and then you place that right there, the extract button, and voila, it has extracted my dark iron ingots. This is good for specific items, but if you just want to do uh, really big bulk storage, let's say you've got a whole lot of wood, and you just want to dump it in somewhere, you don't care where it goes, well, you can take and just uh, use some chests like this, and you can see that they can go either direction, said as long as they're connected, and even though it doesn't look like they're really connected here, it's all magical and it works. So uh, you could just place one of these stacks in there, and uh, this specific router has a bandwidth upgrade, so it places a whole stack in there. But another thing that you can do is you can also use this in conjunction with the Buildcraft Hopper. So it's a really good way if you just come in from a big load of chopping wood or whatever, just dump everything in the hopper, and it will do its work and just send it, store it for you. And my final little example here is um, you could take this router, hook it up to some machines, say you wanted to make yourself some coal, and you want to do it rather quickly, so you've got several machines here. And uh, so you take your coal and insert it into, you can specify what slots to put them in. And so, for example, uh, let's say, let's say put this in slot one. And that will correspond to this slot right here. So we'll just dump this in here. And it's going to evenly distribute all of that coal to the machines. You can see it working the little purple wispy things. And it has evenly distributed all this coal to the machines for you. So that's pretty handy. So then you can take, say, put it slot zero. And there you go. Instantly, you're making charcoal in every machine. And this feature is good for you know, doing all kinds of things. Putting in not only just the coal and the wood, but you could do ores, ingots. Um, you could really do anything that needs to go in and out of machines as long as you are able to specify how you want it. And like I said before, um, with the upgrades, you can actually specify the exact item that you want to go in or out. You can also specify the exact machines that you want it to work with. So if you have a system of machines but you only want it to work with a certain type, you could specify that machine. And that's it for now. Next time I'm going to go over all of the upgrades and show you exactly how to make them and how they work. Thanks for watching. Uh, please continue to leave your comments and uh, posts and subscribe. Appreciate all you do. Thanks guys.